Daylight and the Union Pacific 844. We're lucky enough here at Rail Fair 91 to have some of the few remaining examples of those big, powerful, beautiful giants that roared along the rails shouting out the freedom and spirit of America. about things that we really ought to be doing in our life, we decided that this engine needed to run again. And that's when we decided to go ahead and do what we did. We restored the engine and then brought it out here for rail fare. It was its first big trip in 1981. That's the last new steam engine the Union Pacific bought. It's never been retired, it's never been restored, it's been in service since it was built in December of 44. It's uh, the premier passenger engine in the country. Uh, we've had it in special service now for 31 years. Tremendous locomotive, it's known around the world. These are the flagships of the Union Pacific and they, uh, they indicate a lot of corporate pride and a lot of employee pride. 3985 was designed in 1943 when it was built to pull uh, uh, troop trains during the war effort. The 844 was designed for fast passenger service, 90 miles an hour with 26 cars, and it can still do that. The 3985, the world's largest operating steam locomotive. It and the 844 are sisters, and they make a good match. Built in 1941 for the Southern Pacific, it pulled the famous daylight trains between San Francisco and Los Angeles. It was used by the Southern Pacific until 1957 when it was donated to the city of Portland, Oregon, where it went into a park there, just like many other park engines in the country. 1974, it was taken out of the park for use on the uh, American Freedom Train to celebrate this nation's bicentennial, and has been kept in sort of regular service since then to be used on special occasions. Southern Pacific Railroad. The locomotive was designed to pull the San Francisco Overland Limited, uh, America's version of the Orient Express, 
and it did that from Sparks, Nevada to Ogden, Utah. That was a distance of 535 miles. At the time, that was the longest unassisted run by a steam locomotive in the world, a record that remained for quite a few years. take the engine around for people to see it, we decided it was time to convert it to oil. And for a test run, we tied on to 143 cars, double stack container train, had no problems, it walked right off of the train. They used to estimate it, it to be uh, 5,000 horsepower, but uh, I think their estimates were wrong because we took 20,000 horsepower off and put our steam engine on and walked away with the train. We're like zookeepers for dinosaurs, we're perpetuating a lost art. Uh, these are our lost skills and, and lost uh, experiences. And we think it's a piece of history and we're all glad to be part of it. You know, every moment of running this engine is special. We have to work on this locomotive 100 hours for every hour that we run it. It has to be a labor of love. This is something you can't pay somebody to do. The project to restore the locomotive 2472 began in 1975. This is a 16 year restoration effort by many men and women of various backgrounds. But I have to tell you, the volunteers that we have uh, are really dedicated people because what we had to go through in that fairgrounds was just beyond compare. The entire locomotive is restored in a parking lot for crying out loud. It's a hobby that is hard to, to share with somebody else. It's a relationship that you have with the machine and every moment is special on the thing when you run it. That's why you do what you do. Uh, most people in the country today have never seen a live steam locomotive. They don't even know such things exist. And we run ours all around the western United States and uh, bring a lot of joy to everybody. We're like Santa Claus. Well, this has been a heck of a...